Hello there, people of Skyblock and Minecraft in general. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a custom mod profile folder, because, as you might be as well, I'm tired of using Bad Lion Client. It doesn't have what I, what I need to play uh, end game or more endgame content in Skyblock anymore. Anyway, yeah, let's get straight into this. I'm not going to screw around for too long. Your first step is going to be to go on to your local browser and type in CurseForge download, your CurseForge, whatever. This is the Forge launcher we're going to be using to download the Forge mods. Click on this link here, CurseForge, Featured Games. Uh, you could click on the download as well and then download it for Windows. I have it installed. It's a fairly simple installation process. Download it, run it, and then follow the installation uh, guide. It'll take you there pretty easily. Once you have that done, open CurseForge. This is the CurseForge mod launcher. It runs on Overwolf. This used to be in the Twitch launcher. So it is reputable. It does have hundreds of Minecraft mods in it, but that's not why we're using it for the in mod for the uh, built-in you know mod cap capabilities. So what we're gonna want to do, you won't have these. You might also load in here, I can't remember. Just click on Minecraft. You'll need to have Minecraft installed. Uh, next, you won't have these profiles, so you're going to click up here and create custom profile. Name it whatever you want. And then choose your Minecraft version. If you're going for Skyblock like I am, I recommend 1.8.9 or 1.12.2. If you're doing something else, pick whichever version suits your needs. Next, just as far as I can tell, leave the mod loader at whatever the default is and create your profile. Then hit play. This is an important step and files will not load in. Of course, my Minecraft launcher launches on my second monitor just to irritate me. Um, it does that every time. But then click play, understand the risks, play, load this up once. If it has this forge symbol here, you did it right. Now you have this installation of Minecraft running. Three mods, they don't actually do anything though, they are just Forge being ready to mod. Just quit out of the game. We're not going to worry about that right now. Next, click on the folder. As you can see, there is no mods installed in this mod pack. The first thing we're going to do is go back to your browser. And if you'd like to, download Optifine. I'm going to click download. Because we need 1.8.9, we're going to click see all versions. Scroll down to 1.8.9, and then you can download whichever one of these you want. I recommend the latest version. I have the latest version currently downloaded. I recommend dropping all of your mods and mod type folders into one folder. I have mine labeled as Optifine because I only used to use Optifine, but you can label it whatever you like. And then just drop all of your mods in here. After you've downloaded Optifine, you can additionally download any other mods from the internet you'd like. Uh, Skyblock has several by Biscuit, including Skyblock add-ons. And if you download this or support him, you might even get a free imaginary Biscuit. <laughs> now I have Skyblock add-ons. One dot jar. It's in my downloads folder, I think. But you have your file now. After that, uh, go back over to CurseForge, go up to here by play, and there's three dots here. Click on the dots, hit open folder. Inside this folder, you can see this is what it runs whenever you click play. Inside this mods folder, this folder is currently empty, but this is where we're going to drag and drop all of the mods we just downloaded. I'm going to put this on my second monitor, so you won't be able to see it currently, but I'm going to drag over, just click and drag my Skyblock add-ons mod. Now this does move it, uh, I would recommend clicking, uh, copying it, and then pasting it somewhere else. After that, we are also going to move over our Optifine. 
So now we have Skyblock add-ons and Optifine in there. I'm going to X out of this, because I'm done adding all the mods that I've downloaded. And I'm going to show you how to add mods from here, too. There's a mod I especially like. Um, you click here to add more content. Click up here for search. I'd highly recommend having this in almost every mod pack. Uh, controlling. I cannot spell today. Controlling. Adds a search bar to the key bindings menu. This is an amazing mod, and I don't know why Minecraft doesn't have this by default. After that, we're just going to hit play. Hit play again. Once again, you'll see it load up with the forge symbol. Now, we have completely loaded Minecraft with uh, our th three, two mods added, three mods added. If we go to multiplayer, hypixel.net, we can now connect to the server. Um, if we go to Skyblock, you can type slash SBA and configure Skyblock add-ons however you'd like. As you can see, it is active. You can hit V, it's set to C. C for your Optifine zoom. It does, in fact, exist. Optifine is on. And then you can go into controls, and you can see there's a search bar here. I can look for zoom and find it. There's also two ticks here. Um, looks like they didn't quite render properly, but you can see categories or key. So if we type key, we can only see what's bound to the Z, C key, or with a C in them. That is the easy way of how to set up a mod folder. In my opinion, this is much easier than the way that Refraction does it, which is directly modifying Minecraft's mod folder. I hope you found this video inf to be informational and helpful to what you are currently trying to do. If you like this kind of content, and especially Hypixel Skyblock content, I'm going to be releasing some of that hopefully soon, so please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Be greatly appreciated. Yeah, have an amazing day. Also, go check out Refraction's YouTube channel for the uh, other way of directly, uh, more directly modifying Minecraft into the default launcher rather than the Curse Forge launcher. Anyway, have a great day.